Hi there, my name is Justin and I have been a stutterer since childhood. However, you won't hear me stuttering in this video. That's because I'm not actually speaking to you. The voice you're hearing right now is my authentic voice, or at least a close approximation of it. But the person reading these lines isn't actually a person. They're an AI voice clone I generated from a short sample of my speech and the voice synthesis technology of Eleven Labs. I can casually sit back, sip a glass of wine, and write the script that I want to present to you without ever needing to say a single word aloud. Is this paradise or what? I was once asked in a job interview if I had had a stroke. The interviewer held no ill intent behind the comment. They were merely wondering why I could barely string two words together during my interview without stammering and gasping for air in between. I only realized years later how inappropriate it had been for them to ask me this question. Perhaps it was even illegal. But stutterers have a hard time realizing when others mistreat us, because in our minds we're always in the wrong. Our speech impediments are an embarrassing fault that we've failed to overcome. So I slowly stammered no, tried to explain myself, and continued on through my interview. Of course, I was wrong to have thought I needed to give any apologies or explanation for speaking differently from other people. This fact took me years to realize, and I still struggle with imposter syndrome on occasion regarding my speech disfluencies. But I'm not here to tell you that all is doom and gloom. In fact, the future for us stutterers, and for others who struggle to express themselves verbally, is in fact very bright. This is thanks to recent developments in AI. As you've heard in this video, the capability to clone our own voices into AI text-to-speech bots that will read whatever we want them to with full English fluency is now easily accessible. This service cost me literally one dollar and only a few minutes to train the AI. When I gave the AI new text to read aloud and heard how it wasn't just some random text-to-speech, but actually my authentic voice reading the lines back to me, I almost cried. Most of the buzz I've heard about AI voice cloning recently has been negative. People cite how it's been used to create deep fakes of celebrities or replicate the work of voice actors without their permission. It's sparked debates about intellectual property rights and job loss for vocal professionals. But I've heard little to nothing be said for how much this technology can help people. People with stutters can use it to present ourselves and our voices fluently without struggling through recording and re-recording lines for hours until we can say everything we want to how we want to. But there are benefits for others too. Some people lose their natural voices due to aging or medical conditions, and with it, the ability to speak for extended periods of time. Some people wish that they could narrate books or read scripts, but struggle to do so because of reading disorders like dyslexia. With AI voice cloning, we can preserve our own true voices against the damages of time and present our voices just the way we want to, no matter our impediments. There is much still to be determined about how accessible AI voice cloning should be and how the law should treat synthetic voices. There are important debates still to be had regarding a person's voice as their own property. But I hope through this video, I can bring some attention to the life-changing benefits this technology can provide. Thank you for watching. There will be a link in the description to 11labs.io where you can create your own AI voice clone and learn more about this emerging technology. I should add that I am just a fan and have no official affiliation with 11 Labs Inc. Remember to smash that subscribe button, hit that like, whatever it is that YouTubers say, and have a wonderful day.